AP World History Topic 3.4 Comparison in Land-Based Empires Essential Question How were the methods empires used to increase their societal and cultural influence from circa 1450 to 1750 similar? Also, how were they different? Similarities Military Conquests all four empires relied on military conquests to expand their territories and exert influence over diverse populations. They used their military might to defeat rival powers, seize lands, and establish centralized control. This conquest-driven approach allowed them to incorporate diverse populations under their rule. Incorporation of diverse populations, each empire encompassed a vast array of diverse cultures, ethnicities, and religions within its territories. Rather than forcibly assimilating these populations, the empires generally adopted a policy of religious and cultural tolerance. This approach allowed for the coexistence and integration of different groups, enabling the empires to benefit from the skills, knowledge, and resources brought by diverse populations. Strategic use of gunpowder. Gunpowder revolutionized warfare during this period, and all four empires recognized its military significance. They invested in the production and deployment of firearms, cannons, and other gunpowder based weapons. This technological advantage gave them a significant edge in battles and allowed them to dominate their adversaries. Differences Geographical scope. The empires differed in terms of their geographic reach. The Manchu Empire, Qing Dynasty, extended its influence across Central and East Asia, including present-day China. The Mughal Empire encompassed South and Central Asia, including parts of present-day India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. The Ottoman Empire had a broad territorial expanse, spanning Southern Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. The Safavid Empire primarily controlled the Persian territories, including modern-day Iran and parts of neighboring countries. Political and Administrative Structures The empires had varying political and administrative structures. The Manchu Empire established a centralized bureaucracy, adopting elements from the Chinese governance system. The Mughal Empire had a centralized administration with an emperor as the central authority. The Ottoman Empire utilized a highly centralized administrative system with the Sultan at its helm. The Safavid Empire followed a Shiite Muslim theocracy with the Shah serving as both a religious and political leader. Cultural influence and legacy. Each empire left a distinct cultural impact on the regions they ruled. The Manchu Empire assimilated some elements of Chinese culture while maintaining their own distinct identity. The Mughal Empire fostered a unique fusion of Persian, Indian, and Central Asian cultural traditions, resulting in magnificent architectural achievements, such as the Taj Mahal. The Ottoman Empire's cultural influence spread through its architectural wonders, arts, and literature, blending elements from Byzantine, Islamic, and Turkish traditions. The Safavid Empire played a significant role in the development and promotion of Persian art, literature, and architecture, with an emphasis on Shia Islam. And that's everything you need to know in order to answer the questions, how were the methods empires used to increase their societal and cultural influence from 1450 to 1750 similar, and how were they different?